Hey, what's going on beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And today I'm going to be doing another haul. I like to upload these videos with another video. So you guys will be seeing two videos today if you watch it on the day that it comes out, just because I get that this is like not everyone's jam, but I honestly just really love looking at foil magic cards. It's like one of my favorite things. Sorry if you see some shadows. I have some, um, I don't even know what the shadow, oh, this is my mic that's over there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do this haul for you guys on some newer things that I picked up. A couple of these things were things that I picked up at Magic Fest Austin recently that I'm really really excited about and I have a couple of new accessories as well that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I think the last one that I filmed of this was in oh my goodness give me a second October maybe I think. Um, so it's been like a, a, I do these about quarterly I would say every three or four months around there. Um, so yeah I want to show you a couple of accessories pretty quickly. I want to fly through them. I did get myself a new binder. You can't really see it and I don't really want to adjust my camera but I just got this new um, it's like literally covering the entire screen. This looks ridiculous right now. It just looks like a block of pink, but I got this new um, binder. I do not know what this brand is. If you guys know what this brand is, please let me know. Um, but basically I just have all of my trades in here and I really like it. It holds 160 cards and it holds them very well. This is going to be very hard to show you guys, but I did get the Ultimate Guard Super Hive. I love this thing. Um, I really, really love it a lot. It's like one of my favorite things. When I film a video on what is in my magic bag, I'll talk a little bit more about this here because like I kind of just want to go through these accessories pretty quickly. But I picked that up because Mages was having a deal where if you bought that, you got like $15 worth of cards back or like so I don't remember it was like 35% off or something like that which is really good because those are pretty expensive they're like $60 but it's gonna last a really long time um I then picked up some more deck boxes so I picked up two of the ultimate guard um I don't know if these have a name um, I don't know what these are called, but I picked up two of these Ultimate Guard deck boxes. Um, I picked up this one online and I picked this one up at GP Austin. This turquoise color and this pink color. This one has a lila in it. And then, um, because I got my pink sleeves as well for a lila, which I like the matching. They're a different shade of pink, but like that's fine with me. And then this turquoise one. And this is gonna put, I don't actually know what deck is gonna go in here yet. I'm not 100% sure on what's going in there. Maybe Riku. Not 100% sure. Oh yeah, I'm building Riku. You guys get the exclusive sneak peek um, before anyone else. And then I also got this other deck box. This one's a little bit different, but um, it was on a pretty good sale. This is again from the same brand as my binder. And this was like on sale. I got this at the event and it was like $5 for a deck box, which this one's pretty good quality. It's a little bit bigger just to show you the size comparison. Um, if they're like a little bit bigger, this one's like obviously taking up a little bit more room. It's like a little bit taller and stuff, but it's still a little bit more compact, which I like. So those are all the accessories kind of like I said, I wanted to run through them pretty quickly. Um, now let's get into, I would say the really good stuff, which are all of the really awesome cards. The majority of these are foils because um, as you guys know, I love foil magic cards. They're like one of my favorite things. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is from my girl Inkling Customs, Jessica. She's super awesome. I got to meet her at the event and I picked up these princess tokens and I love these. She was having a super, super good sale on them. Her tokens were 10 for four dollars so I got nine and then Paul got one so I basically got this lot for four dollars and then Paul got some Star Wars ones and I love these I'll flip through them these are really cute um I told her that she needed to do Mulan next we have Elsa Rapunzel Anna Alice Ariel Belle Cinderella and Snow White. I will list her in the down bar below she's super awesome I got the chance to meet her and she was like really nice so shout out to you Jessica really hyped on those. Should have had her sign them. Hindsight 2020, totally forgot. So, um, cool. So we're, I'm going to go into the various decks and the different cards that I got. So first hopping into zombies, the first card I got is Endless Ranks of the Dead. I think I'm actually going to move you guys down a little bit. Yeah. Um, so the first card is Endless Ranks of the Dead Foil, which is really exciting. I got this at GP Austin. I'll let you guys know which cards I get at the GP or Magic Fest, whatever. Um, I saw this and it was really, really pretty. I love this art. This is by Ryan Gee. He does a lot Lot of um some of my favorite art and I really really like this it's really stunning so I picked this up and the other card I got this card is not very expensive foil but I do really love Staff of Nin I run this in the majority of my decks and I really like this this is the um event promo or buy a box or like something like that promo so these are the two cards that I got for zombies now let's hop on to talking about rune the first card I got for rune is a foil flicker wisp 
Uh, I'm trying to see, do I want to bring you guys down? Bring you guys down a little bit more. Is a foil flicker wisp. Really, really like this card. Card works really, really well in rune, so I picked that up. And then I got a foil wall of omens. I got this at the GP. Love this card. And the last card I got for rune is the foil terastodon. And I actually, funny, I forgot that I got this. I don't know what this is from. Like, I, I don't remember. I think they're just like the miscellaneous promos, but it has like the five, um, the, it's really, really hard to see on camera. Um, but it has the five, uh, mana symbols on the bottom. And I really like this, like shooting, I, it's like a shooting star logo. I don't really know what it's called, but those are the things that I picked up from for rune now hopping into talking about tasa tasa um, the first card i got is treasure keeper i actually haven't gotten the chance to draw this card yet so i don't really know how it plays out but i think it is really solid um i do think recurring this would be honestly not that bad um and then if it dies obviously with alila uh, sorry, with alila oh my god with uh, tasa you get double the death triggers which is really good so i do like this card again i haven't really gotten a chance to play with it because i haven't drawn it this is a card that paul got for me he was actually trading and he saw this and he thought it would work out pretty well for tasa so i actually haven't gotten the chance to draw it i haven't played tasa in a minute I should actually play her. She should be one of the decks that I play next. I go through kind of, I have about, I have eight EDH decks right now, which is probably the most I've ever had, to be honest. And, um, I just, I like to play one deck and then, you know, play it like, um, I'll only play it one time kind of thing, unless I like don't draw well with it or like the game ends very, very quickly. Um, and so pretty much I play about two or three games a week. Um, and basically if I'm playing that, sometimes I could go, you know, a couple of weeks without playing a deck. So I haven't had the chance to play Tasa. Anyways, Paul got this card for me. I haven't gotten the chance to play with it yet, but it is return each creature card with convert amount of cost X from your graveyard. So that means it's only convert amount of cost X. Um, this can be pretty, I would say I'm probably going to cast this on the lower end. And what I mean by that is I'll probably cast this at like like two or three mana because I have the majority of cards there um with Tesa but like I said haven't drawn it yet I think this card's really interesting so I'm definitely gonna see how this plays out the next card I got I also got this at the GP is a foil legions landing really really excited about this card I really really like this card um it enters the battlefield you make a token and when you attack with three or more it flips and you get the chance to make for three mana 1-1 uh, one, one vampires with lifelink, which is super awesome. And then with Tesa, they have Vigilance too, which is really, really good. So I do really like this card. I had the card in the deck, but then once I saw the foil, I got this. It was like $4, which I really, really like this card. And the last card, and I actually, I don't think I have... Oh, no. I can grab them for you. I have the Bitter Blossom from the Secret Lair. Oh, no. Sorry, y'all. I don't actually know where my tokens are for these. They did come with the four tokens. I don't know where they are right now. I'm super sorry about that. This is not foil, but it is stunning. I love all the arts of Bitter Blossom. This is like probably my second favorite. I'll show you guys which one's my favorite. Um, I really love this a lot. Paul got this for me as like kind of a Christmas gift. I saw it and I really liked it and he was like, I'm gonna get this for you. I just think this is really pretty. Like she, Olena Richards, she does, she does some other stuff too. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I do really like her stuff. Really, really stunning. Love this Bitter Blossom. Secret Lair was a great project. I actually didn't film a video talking about Secret Lair, and I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't get the chance to share those with you guys. Um, I just, I'm not 100% sure what happened. I just, like, didn't get the chance, but, um, yeah. The next deck I'm going to talk to you guys about is Merfolk. I have some couple of new pretty exciting foils that I got for this deck. The first card I picked up is a Foil Cold Eye Selkie. I love this card. I've been playing with this card for a bit and I really, really enjoy it. So I picked this card up in Foil. Already had it in the deck, just picked it up in Foil. The next card I got is a Foil Rapid Hybridization. Again, I already had this card in there, but I picked it up in foil and I also picked up this is a, a card that I picked up from the event from the GP I got a foil simic signet really really love this card love my love the signets I actually need to get a whole bunch more of them and I picked up a foil kodama's reach sorry that was my computer I'm, I'm getting these really weird like sephora updates and it keeps like updating them and like telling me when like sephora notifications i'm like i don't i don't want you why um and the last card i picked up for merfolk really really excited about this is the judge promo mutavault um i actually got this at the gp with my prize support um i had i had looked at all of the tickets um we had gotten we went 2-1 at the event. We did the two at a giant. And I um, used 
uh, this was 200 ticks, which I didn't think was, was that bad. And um, this was kind of like a card that was on my wish list. I actually didn't realize, but we actually have another Muta Vault, like just a regular Muta Vault. Obviously, you guys know I love files, but um, we actually have a regular one that I totally forgot about in my binder, but sorry, not in my binder, in our box. And I totally forgot about it. So I was like, oh my God, I need a Muta Vault. I need a Muta Vault because I forgot we had one. Um, but anyways, I still would have wanted the foil one anyway like that doesn't really matter but um this is one of the things I got with my with our tickets which was really really awesome I had my eye on a couple of things um I but I was like not 100% sure what I really wanted to do but I saw the Muta Vault and I was like I really want to get this because it was a card like I said it was on my wish list so great that is it for talking about that deck uh now let's hop into talking about Omnoth. Omnoth got some new fo exciting foils which was really great the first card I got is War Storm Surge I love this card I also have Wear Ancient's Tread too um but I really really like this card running both in Omnoth is just like super super devastating so I really like this card a lot the next card I got is a Foil Perilous Vault. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know this is one of my, this is my favorite artifact of all time. I run this card in all my decks. It's kind of a lot of mana, but I feel like for a lot of decks that don't really have a lot of board wipes, or like this is just really good because it exiles. So I got this in Foil. And then I got a Sakura Tribe Elder Foil, also known as Steve. And I finally got a Crater of Behemoth. This has been the number one card on my wish list to get a Crater of Behemoth. I've just, it's one of those cards that like, no one just has this card for trade. Like, it's just one of those cards that's just like harder to find. Um, again, because like no one's really trading it. But then um, finally, 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 I got it. Now you guys know I want foils and stuff like that. But if I'm trading, can't really be necessarily as picky. Um, so at the moment, I would say I pretty much don't really necessarily need a lot of cards. Like a lot of the cards I do want are just foils and things like that, but I really needed this. I didn't really care like what set it was from or anything like that. I just wanted it. And um, I finally got it from my friend Evan, which was so exciting. And the last card I got I am super excited is a Cultivate. And a lot of people actually don't know about this art. This art is really, really stunning. This is by John Avon, who's one of my favorite artists. If you guys can see, there is a little bit of a miss foiling up here. Um, which I don't know, like I'm, I'm kind of fine with, oh, and it's also in Spanish, which is super rad. Um, I love this. I love John Avon. This is like one of my favorite arts. I just think John Avon does some of the best art in my opinion. His, his like lands are just like incredible. I love them. Anyways, um, I love this art. I saw this at the event and I was immediately like, I am getting that. Like there's no doubt about that. Also my feelings on cards that are not in English. I, if it's an, Eng I prefer, I would say English. I used to be really into like Japanese cards. Um, if it's a card that I know really well, I don't care. I care when it comes to cards that have a lot of text that I might forget about, like Planeswalkers, unless it's a card like Elizabeth Sons Champion. I know what that card does. It's my favorite Planeswalker, um, for those who don't know. Um, but anyways, I love this card. I love this art. Um, it's just, she's absolutely stunning. Like, I just, I can't, this is like one of my favorite pieces that I picked up. I picked up a decent amount of stuff. I probably picked up maybe 15 cards or so um, from the GP, and this was one of my favorite cards that I picked up. And um, again, not a lot of people know about that art. I really want to meet John Avon because I have so many cards for him to sign. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Cool. Um, now let's got hop there. Yeah. Now let's hop into talking about fairies. I, Alila, got some really exciting things. So one card I picked up from the GP is another one of these Day of Judgments. This is my favorite Day of Judgment art. There is three arts. There's this one, there's the buy a box promo, which I do not like. And then there's the regular standard art. Um, I don't know why. Like, for some reason, the buy a box promo is purple, and purple is my favorite color. And for some reason, I really like purple in, in cards, but I don't like that art for some reason. This is my favorite, this full art. Um, this is really, really stunning. So I picked this up at the GP for a pretty good price. And then I also got a foil intangible virtue. This was, like, literally 50 cents. So, you know, Clint Cleary. Yeah, Clint Cleary. I don't know how to say his last name. He's one of my favorite artists too. I have a lot of favorite artists. So it's like one of my favorite things in the game. Um, the next card I picked up is a foil Sprite Noble. And I did get this card signed by Randy Gallagos, who is one of my favorite artists. So I picked this card up in foil so that I specifically could have him sign it for the GP because I had a regular one, but I was like, I want to get it in foil. This is also a stunning, stunning card. I love the art on it. 
The next card I got is a Fairy Conclave. This is the um, M10, and I really like how the Magic the Gathering is printed on there. There's a bunch of foilings of this card. It's not very expensive, but I just thought this card was really, really stunning. I love this art. This art is just absolutely incredible. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. So I picked that up because I thought it was pretty. And the last card I got for Alila, which is probably one of the most exciting, is the Bitter Blossom. Paul got this for me for Christmas. This was the, aside from Critter of Behemoth, this was the number one card that I really, really wanted on my wish list. I um, really love this art. As soon as the box toppers came out, this was like one of the cards that I wanted the most from the box toppers and Paul knew this. He got this for me as one of my Christmas gifts. It's one of the most expensive cards that I own. I know I own a lot of foils and I'm showing all these cards but a lot of these truly are on the cheaper end. Like this is one of the most expensive cards that I own and I absolutely love this art. Seriously, absolutely stunning. Just oh, look at the foil. I love like the rainbow. I can't, I can't. Pink and purple just absolutely get me. Okay, I messed up the perfect fit on there, but that's okay. Okay, hopping into some more goodies. We're almost done. We only have two more decks, and then I have some other exciting thing to share with you. We're gonna pop into talking about angels. So the first, first card that I want to talk to angels with you guys about is Foil Soul Warden, which I also got signed at the GP for Randy Galagos. Love, 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 love this art. Even I might end up taking this card out of Angels one day, um, because she's not an angel or anything. Um, and a lot of my early game is spent like mana accelerating. But honestly, even if I don't, I'm still gonna keep this because it's just such a stunning card. So I got that in foil. The next card I got in foil is a foil World Slayer. Yes, I run Avacyn. Yes, I run World Slayer. I'm one of those people. Just want to know, it's just one card, and I don't do it all the time. I also have Armageddon, but it's, I don't do it all the time. I don't avidly tutor for it. I don't avidly seek it. It's just kind of like my, if I can win the game, I kind of do it sort of thing. But I got a foil world slayer, which is really, really exciting. Already had it in the deck, but you know. Um, the next thing I got is a prismatic vista and I actually, um, got this card and I couldn't realize, I couldn't, I couldn't realize, I couldn't figure out what deck I wanted to put it in because honestly this card fits in literally all of my decks and this is a card that I do need multiple copies of. Um, I decided to put it in Angels just because the deck kind of needs a little bit of thinning and card draw because a lot of the, um, again, it doesn't really have as much as I maybe would like it to. It does have a decent amount, but I wanted a little bit of deck thinning so I thought I'd put this card in here. Um, again, I can put this card in literally any of my decks, but I, I think I bought this and I just decided to put it in there. The next card for Angels I got is a Foil Victories Herald, and this was, so I'm kind of at the point where a lot of the cards in my collection, like, a lot of the foils that I need, except for, like, newer decks, I should say, that I, like, but a lot of, like, my well-established decks, I don't, I have a lot of the cheaper foils, but this is one of the cheaper foils that, like, I just didn't own, and I was like, I need it, and I met RK Post, this is my second time meeting RK Post, he's one of my favorite artists, and he did sign this for me, um, and I bought this specifically so I could get it signed, because again, I already had, I actually got my other victories held signed from him when I went to GP Vegas, he's really, really cool, and so I got this signed, which was really exciting, and I also purchased that. And then I got, I'm really, really excited about this. I got this Onslaught Foil Acromos Vengeance. I did get this from the GP. A lot of people actually haven't seen this foil before. It is absolutely stunning. This is actually my favorite art. And I didn't realize that this came in foil because some of the older sets, you know, like don't have things in foil and stuff. But um, anyways, this is my favorite art of this card. And I didn't realize that they had this in foil. Um, I saw this at the GP, picked it up. I was immediately like, this is just absolutely stunning. I just, I love the silver board ordered cards. I just think they're so pretty. So yeah, love that. Pick that up at the GP. And the last card for Avacyn, which is really, 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 really exciting, is the brand new Path to Exile art, guys. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I, as soon as I saw this card, I was immediately like, I need 10 like immediately, which is pretty exciting because now I have an extra path to exile because all my paths are being utilized right now. Um, I'm using them, Paul's using them kind of thing. But anyways, I love this art so much. Like this is truly one of the most beautiful things ever. 
I'm so happy that I got this. I picked this up at the GP, um, obviously, because it was like the first time that it's been released. But basically, my friend Robbie, I told him, I was like, hey, if you get any of these, I really want one. He got it at a really good price for me which was really exciting and I truly just love this card I think it's absolutely stunning I can't wait until I get more of them hopefully the price drops on them because they're a little bit expensive right now but I am so happy I own this and my decision to put this in Avison was basically like well one angels you know that was pretty much my rationale behind that so the last deck we're gonna talk about and then I have to show you guys something pretty exciting as well is Tassiger now Tassiger is in a pretty good position right now in terms of almost all the cards are foil in that deck I think I'm missing about 15 cards in the deck that are foil and some of them are just very very expensive but the majority of the cards are foil which is really exciting the first card is spore frog um long story about spore frog basically as soon as this was released in modern horizons i told all my friends i need a foil spore frog um the card before it was printed was very expensive in foil because it had never been printed that was the only printing of foil it was and I didn't like it because it was the old border and I prefer that I'm very weird about my borders like I really enjoy um like the silver borders I, I don't know how to explain it I'm very very weird about like printings of cards that I like for some of them anyways really really wanted this card in foil right but um, I told all my friends, if you open a foil spore frog, it's mine. This card's like a dollar in foil. But I was like, I really, really want it. No one opened it and it had been so long and I finally picked it up. I was like, I'm just, I just need to buy it. There's a little thing on there. I gotta take that out. But anyways, foil spore frog, super excited. Super exciting. The next card I got is a foil swift foot boots. Really, really excited to get my hands on this. This is another card I just need a lot of copies of in foil. This card is not in foil, but I got a signed Solemn Simulacrum. I was actually purchasing cards and I needed to purchase another Solemn for Alila, actually, because I had run out of all of my Solemns. This is my favorite art for Solemn, by the way. I actually don't like the Masterpiece Solemn, unpopular opinion. Um, it's not my favorite. This one's my favorite art. But anyways, um, saw that there was a card that was signed and I decided, hey, let's get it because the foil Solemns are like $20, which was a little bit out of my price range. I also picked this card up at the GP. This is a foil Ash Barons. I really, really like this card. I, I think this card is really stunning in foil because like the river kind of thing is like foil. It's really, really hard to see, but you can kind of get a glimpse of it there. But like this part is foil. It's just so, so, so pretty. So I have a lot of this card, but I, this is the one that I picked up and decided to put it in Tassiger because Tassiger is like my number one, I would say, to foil everything. And then I picked up a foil Archeomancer. Also picked this up at the GP. Love this card really really good pick that up at the GP and the last card that I picked up for Tassiger is a foil chromatic lantern this is again I ran out of all my chromatic lanterns so I'm really excited that I got a foil because that non-foil went you know somewhere else um but yeah I picked this up at the GP picked this up for mages these are actually not that bad they're only like 10 or 12 right now which really isn't that bad for them so great card and the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys that I picked up are the new Magic Fest lands. I love these. So basically, I actually have to find... I don't know where they are right now. Um, there's kind of a mess of what they're where they are right now. But these are the new Magic Fest promo lands. I got a mountain and Paul got a plains, I believe. And basically with the other um, prize support, Paul didn't really see anything. So I was like, well, I really like these. So I ended up getting um, four packs of them. I think these are really, really pretty. I really, really like them a lot. My favorite is, you guessed it, is the Swamp because you guys know, love my purple. Really, really hyped on that. I also think the Forest is probably my second favorite. I think these are really pretty. I don't really know what decks I'm going to put them in yet, um, but I really, really love those. So I have this pack and then like I said, I have um, the other one just dropped on the floor, but I have um, these other packs that I haven't opened yet. I just opened this one so I could show you guys, but I love these. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, and again, there wasn't really a whole lot else that I saw at the GP to use for my uh, prize tickets. So the prize wall is probably one of the most exciting parts of the GP, let's be completely honest. Guys, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I will definitely be posting one in a couple months, probably in March or April. It just kind of depends. If I get a lot of cards, I like to, I kind of had these bees building and this was a solid amount of cards that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.